Hi, in this session, we will discuss concepts of height and distance. Now, height and distance is primarily application of trigonometry. If we look at, there are only two basic jargons which we need to understand. One is angle of elevation, the other one is angle of depression. Angle of elevation is nothing but when the uh, vision is raised upwards and the angles are formed with the horizontal vision will be nothing but angle of elevation. And similarly, when the vision is raised downwards, it will form angle of depression. Apart from this, we need to remember two ratios. We need not remember the entire trigonometry table. If we remember the two basic ratios, it will be more than sufficient. The entire set of questions are based on the application of these two ratios. First ratio will be 30, 60, 90. So in a right angle triangle, when one angle is 30 degree, the other angle is 60 degree and there is the third angle is 90 degree. The ratio of the side opposite to 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree will be 1 is to root 3 is to 2. And the second ratio is 45, 45, 90. So if we have an isosceles right angle triangle, the sides ratio will be 1 is to 1 is to root 2. That means side opposite to 45 degrees will be 1, 1 and side opposite to 90 degree will be root 2. We will see the application of both these concepts in couple of questions that we discuss here. Let us look at the first question. In this question, we have a ladder which has a height of length of 50 units and there is a wall which is 48 units high. Now, we are placing this ladder against this wall and we are supposed to find out the distance from the foot of the wall to the ladder. If we look at the Pythagorean triplet, we have height that is the perpendicular distance as 48 and the hypotenuse that is ladder as 50. So if we already have 48 and 50 which is in the ratio 24 is to 25, the third side that is base will be 7 that is 7, 24, 25. Here as the values are 48 and 50, the distance from the foot of the wall to the foot of the ladder will be nothing but 14. If we try calculating by putting the Pythagoras theorem, we will get 50 square minus 48 square that is 196 which is a square of 14. Hence, the distance will be 14 units. Continuing with the same situation, if we put the ladder on the opposite wall which is 14 units high, then we are supposed to find out what will be the distance between foot of the another wall and foot of the ladder. Now, by using the same triplet, 40, 14 meters high, 50 meter is the length of the ladder. So, the distance on the ground will be nothing but 48. And if we are supposed to find out distance between both these walls, the distance will be nothing but 14 plus 48. That is 62 meters. Another interesting question, very similar to the previous one. We have a ladder which is equal to the height of a wall. Let us say ladder is also x meter and height of a wall is also x meter. Now, this ladder is kept on a stool which is 3 meter high. And the stool is kept 9 meters away from the wall. Now, if we try to place the ladder in the, in the hypotenuse way, it just touches the top tip of the wall. Now, we are supposed to find out length of ladder as well as length of the wall. If we look at the diagram carefully, we can, class, we can divide this uh, wall into two parts. One is the original wall which is x meters. The other portion is x minus 3 meters because here the right angle triangle so formed will be 3 meters above the length of the wall. So we have a triplet. 9 meters as a base, x minus 3 meters as the height of the wall and x meters as the hypotenuse or length of the ladder. Again, when we use the Pythagorean triplet, we should know that the difference can be nothing but 12 and 15. So triplet so formed will be nothing but 9, 12 and 15. Let us try to calculate with the help of Pythagoras theorem. 9 square plus x minus 3 the whole square is equal to x square. When we expand this, 9 square is 81. And when we take x minus 3 the whole square on the other side, we will get 
x square minus x minus 3 the whole square which is x square minus 6x plus 9. So x square gets cancelled. So I am left with 81 is equal to 6x minus 9. Again 9 when goes on the other side I will have 81 plus 9 that is 90 is equal to 6x. Hence x will be nothing but 15. So length of wall as well as length of the ladder is 15 meters. Another interesting question on height and distance. Say we have a point P which forms an angle of elevation of 30 degree to a 10 meter tall building and there is a helicopter which is just above the building at some distance and the angle of elevation from the same point P is 60 degrees to helicopter and we are supposed to find out at what height is the helicopter from ground. If we look at the two ratios that we discussed earlier 30 degrees 6, 30, 60, 90. So side opposite to 30 degree over here in this case is 10 meters. So side opposite to 60 degree that is nothing but distance of point P from the foot of the wall will be 30, 10 root 3 and now the angle of elevation changes. Now the angle of elevation to helicopter is 60 degrees. However, the base still remains same that is 10 root 3. So side opposite to 30 degree now is 10 root 3 and we are supposed to find out side opposite to 60 degree that will be 10 root 3 into root 3 which will be nothing but 30 degrees 30 meters hence the height of helicopter from the ground is 30 meters and height of helicopter from the top of the wall will be 20 meters so the standard questions on height and distance can also be made tougher by adding a lot of word problems to it. I hope the concepts that we discussed here were helpful to you. All the best.